Hey everybody, Eric here from Around 2 at RC, and today I'm going to show you the modifications that I made to my Coleman CT200U mini bike. So first, let's quickly go over all the modifications that I did, then I'll take the rest of the video and devote time to showing you how I did it. So let's go ahead and knock that out. Okay, so we have a battery operated headlight with an on off switch on the left handlebar. There's also a light on the rear fender, and it's just for illumination at night. It is not a brake light. And that switch on the handlebar also operates a horn. And up front, I've got a Huffy cup holder, and you can see it holds a Yeti cup, and it does very nicely. and check out the ground effects kit that I put on with a remote. Up front you have a cell phone mount and it holds my iPhone 7 Plus in an OtterBox, which is pretty awesome. Also, you have a power port for uh, connecting USB cables and a 12 volt power source for connecting uh, accessories like uh, an air pump, things like that. Directly in front of the seat, you have a custom made cradle for a Bluetooth speaker, and you can see my UE Boom fits in it just right. All that is is a piece of PVC pipe, three inches. It's cut in half, painted red to match the mini bike, zip tied to the frame, and then it's got a piece of foam in there to keep from damaging the speaker. Okay, so basically the ammo box holds the battery and the wiring um, for everything that runs off of power, obviously, right? Okay, so this is the remote for the ground effects light kit that you can turn it off and on with. Um, I also put a kill switch right here for it because even when you use the remote to turn the lights off, they're still drawing power from the battery. So I put a kill switch um, to turn the lights on and off. Pretty simple. Uh, the other thing you see here is just a, it's a battery charger for this battery and I leave it in here. So, you know, when I need to charge the battery, it's always available. All right, so if you notice under the seat, there's a, a cable that comes out of the ammo box. That's all your wiring that goes to everything on the bike that requires power and if you follow it it goes underneath the seat all the way up to the front of the mini bike and some of it goes to the switches for the horn and the light uh, some goes to the USB power station and the 12 volt accessory port and then you have some that goes to the headlight and the horn and then of course the ground lights effects which you can't see during the day and then the tail light that's on the back okay so i basically came up with this mounting system on my own here uh, and it's made to hold the uh, the 12 volt accessory port with the 5 volt usb charging station here and the bike mount cell phone holder so how i made it is i, I took the bolts out of the uh, bike that hold the front rack on to the main part of the, the handlebars here. Uh, that's a 5 16 by six inch uh, bolt. Basically you run it through, you've got a, a nut on one side and another one here to keep it tight. And this is a piece of half inch PVC piping with just caps on it and I painted it red to uh, match the mini bike. So I drilled holes in the PVC just slightly smaller then the bolt size so I could thread the bolts onto the PVC and that's a very sturdy mount it's not coming off it's not going anywhere and on the back of the mini bike you can see I have my windsock slash flag I think my RC buddies will get a kick out of that when they see it at Nall. and that about wraps it up in the uh, the pictures you see next you can see I can pull a little wagon behind the uh, mini bike and I made a special tabletop to place my RC planes on it and transport them to and from the flying field. 
Well, that's about it for now. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe to support my channel here on YouTube, and we'll see you later.